Hi guys, welcome to this month's video blog, my name's Matt. As it's the summer, this month we're looking at how to create the perfect smart garden. Because remember, your smart home is just not about what's happening inside the house, but also in the garden. Firstly, consider the lighting in your garden. As the evenings draw on, we may be having friends round for a barbecue or a few drinks. Make sure that the lights automatically come on at sunset, so you can enjoy your time outside. Also, if you've had one too many drinks, you might want to think about automatically turning them off at 11pm maybe. If you're installing a water feature in the garden, you may want to think about how you're going to control this from your locks on system. Wouldn't it be really great if it was automated so that it would automatically be on at the times that make sense, um, but not running to save energy when you're not going to be at home? Obviously, you can always control this through the app as well, so if you just want to turn it on to show some friends, then it's easily done through the app. There's nothing better than on a hot day jumping in the swimming pool. So if you have a pool installed at home, you might want to think about using our Aquastar Air to control this as part of your automation around the house. This means you can automatically start things like backwash cycles, rinse cycles, monitor the temperature of your pool, control the cover, bringing everything into the Loxon system. So you get all the great benefits of automation included in your pool. If watering your garden is a constant irritation, you may want to consider automated irrigation. So, using the Loxon weather service, we can forecast the weather. So if we know it's going to rain in the next few days, then we don't need to worry about watering the garden. But if it hasn't rained, then let's water the garden at the time that's most suitable. If, like me, you love listening to music when you're sat outside in the garden, remember your outside space can be one of your multi-room audio zones. So it's really easy to browse to, through the Loxon app and find your favourite playlist or radio station. Um, and if you wanted to group some zones together, you can keep the music consistent when you're inside. So when you walk out onto the patio, the same music's playing. Without houses becoming more and more popular, it's important to consider controlling these as part of your Loxon smart home. So we can control things like heating, lighting, uh, and anything else that you have in that space. Because it'd be so frustrating if you got into bed one evening, looked out the window and realised you'd left the lights on in the outhouse and you had to traipse downstairs to turn them off. Much better just to be able to jump into the app, turn everything off, knowing that your outhouse is now secure and you're not wasting any energy. There are many added security features when you're using locks on in the garden design. So with external motion sensors, if anybody approaches the house at night, let's just bring on the outside lights. If you do have an outhouse, let's think about a motion sensor and window and door contacts there for added security. And also, if you have automated gates or garages, let's tie these into the Loxon system so we don't leave them open. We hope that's given you lots of great ideas for your garden when you're designing your Loxon system. If you want to find out any more information, head to loxon.com forward slash garden, or if you want to find out any more information from us, just give us a call. Thanks for watching.